does it take to introduce this performance? <laughs> That's right. So thank you. Uh, I am Jerry Leinberger. I'm the past president of the Friends of Spinkley Reserve, and I'm honored to be here tonight with you. And the first thing I want you to do is give yourselves a round of applause. Because if it were not for you, we couldn't do what we're doing. And if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be doing this program tonight. We'd be sitting home watching TV, right? So, <laughs> so anyway, I uh, want to talk a little bit about the Friends of Schmeekly Reserve and who we are and why we're doing what we're doing. The Friends are 10 years old. And if you're not currently a member of the Friends of Schmeekly Reserve, I would encourage you to become a friend. Because what the Friends do is make sure that Schmeekly Reserve, which is over 45 years old, can continue to serve the Stevens Point community well. So one of the things that the Friends of Schmeekly Reserve did uh, six years ago is we built this. So this is the Pankowski Friends Amphitheater. And this amphitheater was built with an idea from an amphitheater was, that was down in Devil's Lake, or is still in Devil's Lake. And we started thinking we would do this. And by the time we finished, we had so much support from the Stevens Point community that we were able to build this facility instead of the one that we had envisioned, which was much smaller. This was built entirely with donations, no state tax money, and when it was completed, the Friends donated it to the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point. So this is part of the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point. And actually, Schmeekley Reserve is 270 acres, is the largest part of the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point. So Schmeekley Reserve is a fabulous part of our community, a great asset to our community, and the friends are really happy that you are here tonight. So a couple of people we want to thank for the popcorn that we have this evening. Please thank Festival Foods. When you go there, tell them thank you for the popcorn that you gave to Schmeekley Reserve because that's how we make money to help continue to do things like this. So thank you to Festival Foods. We want to thank the Candlelight Hike Committee. This is kind of like a wedding. You know, you, if you've ever planned a wedding, it takes a lot of planning it's one evening and it's done. It takes a lot of planning with a lot of people to make this event turn off this evening. So thank you to the Candlelight Hike members. They're, they're all over here. And also thank you to the student staff. If you see people walking around with a green t-shirt that says Schmeekley staff, thank them because they're here every day working for the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point to make sure this place is safe and functional. And you should also know that the Schmeekley Reserve operates with two full-time staff members. That's all. Everybody that's here uh, who is working during the day is a student, except for Jim Buchholz, who's the director, and Mel Melissa Ruther, who is the outreach coordinator. So thank you to Jim and Melissa, to all the students here. Please thank them. Also want to say thank you to Griffin Bray, who is our graduate student intern. He will be graduating at the end of this semester, and Griffin has been instrumental in a lot of our planning for these events, so I want to thank Griffin. Um, the Tuesday morning volunteer crew, there's a bunch of old guys that get together every Tuesday morning at Schmeekley Reserve, and we work uh, with chainsaws and brush pullers and rakes and chippers to make sure that the trails are safe for the people to come out to Schmeekley Reserve. So thank you to the Tuesday morning crew. Also want to thank the ENA, Environmental Education and Naturalists Association, a group of students on campus who are helping with the stations that you see this evening and also to the Student Wildlife Society who are doing the same. Uh, I want to thank Rex Runke and his family who are providing uh, the raptor demonstration area down here. They've been here several years and people ask us to make sure we bring them back every year. So we have. Uh, and I also want to thank Dr. Chris McCart. I enjoy saying that. Uh, who has I been an here. instrumental part of helping the interpretation students plan for this event and this performance. So thanks, Chris. And last, but certainly not least, the senior environmental education and interpretation students who will be performing this evening. And it's always very satisfying to me to watch 20-year-olds dress up like animals and frogs and stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great thing. So without further ado, please welcome the environmental education and interpretation practical students presentation of Hopping into Spring. Thanks. I've made my way into the Schmeekley Reserve Visitor Center 
and it's a beautiful spring day. The birds are chirping, the air is so fresh and clean, and I brought my journal with me so I can write down everything I see today. I see birds and trees and grasses and flowers. What do you see? Oh, hi there. Hi. My name's Alex, and I'm an explorer, and I am walking around Schmickley today with my journal, looking to write some things down and write down um, what I see. Well, I'm Jessie the Jumping Mouse. Nice to meet you, Jessie. Nice to meet you, too. What are you doing here today? Well, you see, I was out and about because, um, well, I was hibernating all winter, and I woke up and I realized I was really, really hungry. So I left to go find some food, and when I came back, you know, the weather's been kind of iffy and rainy, and all the snow was melting, and sadly, my nest got flooded. So now I need to find a new summer home. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Maybe I can help? What do you look for in a home? Well, I can live in a lot of places, but I really like an area that's near the water with lots of tall grasses that have some seed in there. Um, and I like to be by a forest, but not necessarily in a forest. Okay. That's a good description. Near a forest and by the edge of the water. Can you think of a place in Schmeekly that matches that description? Shout it out if you know one. Lake Jonas, yeah. I just heard the perfect place. Lake Jonas in Schmeekly Reserve and you'd be right by the edge of the water and there's plenty of trees and long grasses. That I, sounds perfect. I know the way if you'd like me to show you. Really? you do that for me? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, yay! I'm so excited! That was such an amazing hop you just did. Well, thank you. They don't call me a meadow jumping mouse for nothing. How far can you hop? Well, I can hop up to three feet high in the air. And that's partially due to my big feet and long tail. My tail is almost two times the size of my body. That's amazing. That's such a big jump for a mouse so small. Hey, everybody. Why don't you stand up and see how high your hop is? too. 
but I don't really see any other spring peepers since I don't see any other X's. Wow, that's such an interesting mark on your back. Isn't it cool? Our X's help differentiate between other frogs. Well, and you can tell a spring peeper by our beautiful peeps. They sound like this. Peep, peep, peep. Can you all sound like a spring peeper? Peep, peep, peep. <laughs> spring peeper, X on their back. Hey, that reminds me. I wrote in my journal earlier that Jesse here can jump super far. How far can you jump, Pip? Oh, I can jump really far. Watch this. <laughs> 17 inches. <laughs> I know, impressive, right? An old peeper I met once said we can jump 17 times our body length. But you only jumped 17 inches. Yeah, I'm only one inch long. What about it? <laughs> what about you, Wally? How big is your hop? Uh, somewhere around 30 times my body length. You can do the math, though. <sighs>
to blend in with the trees and the forest floor. The one thing that always stays the same though is the black tip on her ears. You know, the snow is a good disguise for people like her, but for red foxes like me, I love to jump into it when I'm looking for my next dinner. I, I mean friend. <laughs> And I can jump up to six feet in the air. That's an impressive jump. Harriet, you sure have big feet. How big is your hop? I can hop up to 10 feet. My big feet, not only to hop around quickly, but they help keep me on top of the snow in the winter. They help spread out my weight, just like a snowshoe does, so I don't sink into the deep snow. I can also run up to 50 miles an hour to help me get away from predators. Whoa, that's really fast. Percy? You're not gonna eat me, right? Oh, nah. I went into town last night and I had this big dinner. Although, while I was eating this pear salad, it tasted nothing like pears. Uh, pears, nothing <laughs> like pears. Do you hear that? Hush, everyone. Make your ears like a hair and maybe you can hear like me. Nope, I do not like that sound at all. I am out of here. Oh, I hear you. Don't worry, I'll stay with the group. <laughs> uh, anyone else think that was a little suspicious? I hope Harriet's okay. That was a little strange. Hopefully they'll both be all right. Okay. All right, there's another sign for like Jonas. All right, let's keep moving. Onward. find a new place to live. Oh my gosh, me too! I'm trying to <laughs> head to Lake Jonas. Where are you headed for a new home? I'm a springtail, so I like places where there's places to hide and a lot of moisture. Prefer the snow, but something like leaves or a, lo a rotten log could do. Mm-hmm. Springtails need moisture to live. Of course, I knew that already. You know, us grasshoppers love places just like this with lots of tall grasses. Grass is like my favorite food. <laughs> it makes me jump for joy. <laughs> hey, what's a food that makes you jump for joy? Pizza. Hi there, my name is Alex the Explorer, and this is Pitt the Spring Keeper. I see you've already met Jesse. Those were some amazing hops you did earlier. Those, that was nothing. I'm a springtail and we're really powerful. We create power up to 16 times our body weight. Yeah, mm -hmm. and did you know that us grasshoppers, we can jump 20 times our own length. That's as if one of you humans were to jump the length of a football field. And did you know that we can also jump 20 times our own height? That's as if you were to jump over a five-story building. That's amazing, how do you jump so well? Well, these powerful legs give me the hops I need. Me too. Well, kind of. I have six legs, and in addition to my body, that help me spring into the air. Wow. Like Jesse was saying earlier, we're looking for Lake Jonas. We thought we were headed in the right direction, and we saw a sign, but now I'm not so sure. Do you know where Lake Jonas is? I'm a springtail. I just emerged for the spring as the snow had melted. Wouldn't someone know better than a springtail who just emerged for the spring? You know, well, I also just emerged from my egg for the spring, but I know where Lake Jonas is. <laughs> yeah, I, I know where the lake is. It's, um, of course, where the water is, right? You know, you just, if you're find, trying to find the lake, you go to the water, yeah? Uh, Gloria, I don't want to burst your bubble, but... There's no water here. <laughs> um, uh, well, uh, can you help me please? Which way's the lake? Wait! Frenchie, do you have something?
something you'd like to say? Well, I, uh, uh... Spit it out, Frenchie! I may have switched the directions of the sign so you all would go the wrong way. <laughs> and? The lake is actually that way. I'm sorry, I thought it was a little prank. Well, thanks for telling us the correct direction now, and thanks, Harriet, for bringing Frenchie to our attention. You're welcome. There, I beat it. Can I go now? <laughs> yes, you're free to go. I should be heading out too. There's plenty of grass for me to eat. Bye, Frenchie. Bye, Harriet. <laughs> All right, well, now that we know what direction to go, let's get heading to the lake. You know, I, I'm good. I think I'm gonna stay here where my food is at. There's so much grass for me to eat here. Yeah, there's not much moisture for me here anyway. I'm totally not joining you. Well, we're always down to have more friends join us on our adventure. Didn't I just say, I'm not joining you. We just happen to be going the same way. Well, whatever you're doing, let's hop along then. We got places to be. To Lake Jonas, everyone. <laughs> just look at that log. That looks like a great place to live. It was nice joining y'all, but I'm out. Bye, Bye Spencer. Spencer. Short hops or even crawling. 
Hey, you said we look the same, which we totally don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, you see all these <laughs> warty looking things? Frogs, for the most part, don't have that. We have smooth skin. Hey, don't talk about my bumps like that. I don't like my bumps. Why do you have them? Have what? Uh, bumps. Oh, yeah. My bumps help me because I live in drier areas. So they help me stay nice and safe. If a predator happens to keep coming by me, though, they are in for it. Because if they snatch me, I have these paratoid glands at the back of my eyes that will release a toxin. and It'll make their mouth swell up really big and make them feel really queasy. So my bumps help me really well, unlike your weird mucusy skin. Uh, my mucus layer is not weird. It keeps me moisturized and it protects me from microbacteria. Speaking of water, have you seen Lake Jonas? Lake Joe what now? <laughs> you know, the giant lake in the middle of Schmeekly Reserve? You probably don't know what it is since you know you live on land and all. Hey, I was born in water just like you and I know exactly what lake you're talking about. It's over there. Wait, no, it's over there. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's over there. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the lake? It's that way. My mom takes me there to drink water sometimes. Our tracks are on this well-worn path. It'll lead you right to it. Well, I wish you all luck in getting there. I gotta wait for my mom. Thanks for your help, Daisy. Bye, Daisy. Bye. I think we made it. I see the light. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Imagine waking up in the morning, beautiful bright blue sky, hearing the birds chirping, oh, and look at all of the seeds and grass. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet over here. I'm so excited. Oh, and just think, I heard that geese have these cute little tiny babies, and they're called goslings. So I'm going to get to Oh my goodness. <sighs> Jesse, what's wrong? Well, it's just that we've had such a great adventure today and I couldn't have found such a beautiful new home without you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Jesse, you don't have to repay me. Your company was exactly what I needed on this adventure. Without you, I wouldn't have seen all these new birds and plants and animals and I wouldn't have made it to Lake Jonas. Well, we got here together. You're right, and this isn't the last of me that you'll see. I still have so much of Shpikli that I want to explore. Well, I hope you come back to visit me soon. I'm also going to miss Wally the Wood Frog, Kip the Spring Keeper, Harriet the Snowshoe Hare, Frenchie the Fox, even though they scared me a little bit, 
Victoria, the grasshopper. Spencer, the springtail.